Why, hello, thank you for tuning in to Medicating with Sound. You know, it's been a little while since we've done a dab together, so let's start this video off correctly and medicate with a dab. <laughs> Got my little dab box here. Gonna grab a little dab. Kerbam. Little dab. Uh, we'll start. You know, I've been working with my uh, email here lately, and uh, I I sometimes take too big of a dab, and I just cough and cough and cough and cough. So I've been taking smaller dabs, but more of them. So I'm gonna try to do that today with you live. Take a little bit smaller dab and not cough my insides out on camera. Speaking of camera, do you guys want to see? A close up of what we're doing here. Here, let's see. Shove this in here. Okay. Alright, maybe we can get a close up going of what's going on. There we go. There, you're inside a Sound Drones dab rig. Prepare to launch. Cheers! Okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so you know I like to do the stony snack reviews, right? We're going international. Today, we're opening up the Wow Box by Mog Mog. Mog Mog? <laughs> By Mug Mug! By, By Mug Mug! I like Mug Mug! The Wow Box by Mug Mug. The Wow Box happens to be J the Japan's uh, Japan's best candy subscription. And the reason why I know that is because it's printed on the box. So that's why I know this to be a fact. Because it's printed on the box. <coughs> well... This is a monthly subscription box that you order from Mug Mug, uh, the Wow Box. And what it is, it's a bunch of Japanese candy. Now, Japanese candy, I'm not exactly sure, but I know a lot of, of the uh, Asian candy uh, is the stuff that you make. Like you pour the water in the powder and then you pour the powder into the mold. So I don't know if it's going to be like that or if it's ready to eat candy. But I'm going to break this open and we'll find out what is inside. Oh, look at there. That looks nice, doesn't it? That looks nice, doesn't it? Here, let's do this. The Wow Box, April 2016. Fun and tasty. Whoa! Whoa! Jam-packed! There's a lot of stuff in here. This might take a second to get through all this stuff. Pringles, no idea what flavor. Look at that! Is it, is it, it's probably mushroom and, probably mushroom and, and sour cream maybe? I don't know, but check it out! It's Pringles with no American writing on it. Okay, well, let's just tear into them. Smells like uh, Pringles. Oh, they're much smaller. They taste like spaghetti. So, spaghetti, Pringles, I highly doubt. Mario snacks with stars and mushrooms. Oh, cheesy. They s oh, oh. Um, I'm not going to eat those. They taste like vomit. Yeah. Huh. 
Okay, what do we got here? We got uh, Pikachu things. Oh, it's like popcorn with these. These are probably Pikachus. I don't know. Mmm. Mmm, sweet. It's sugary. Okay. So you got the, the sugary Pokemons and the salty popcorn, and they're mixed together. So you got this sweet, um, salty kind of mix. Yeah, that's okay. Those are okay. All righty. Um, no idea, but this is what it is. I'm scared. But, I mean, it's candy and snacks, so how bad can it be? Just super, super hot, maybe? Like, maybe, you know, a chili pepper or something? I don't know. Let's try it. That's good. It's like a chocolate on the outside, and then chocolate cookie on the inside, that's all. Um, this flower thing, I don't know. Okay, it's like a patty Okay, it's basically a cheddar cheese flavored rice cake. Oh, but it's got a little spice to it. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm not really a spicy fan. It's got some wasabi or something in it. Oh, let's try some candy. I think this is the same as the last one. Okay, so they give you two of these chocolate ones. Look at there's a, there's even a, a beverage in here, and the only English on here is Sakura Cola, and then at the very top it says Cherry Blossom Cola. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh, the Cherry Blossom Air is good. Oh, it's kind of light, fruity, fruity. Flowery, yeah, kind of flowery. Funny, but it, yeah, it tastes good. That's a, that tastes delicious. That would be good with a on a hot summer's day. Tic Tacs, maybe. I don't know. So we got some hard candy here. I don't know. I'm gonna try them. I think they're grape flavored though. Oh, kind of chewy. Kind of like maybe Starburst. Yeah, it's grape starburst with like a baby candy shell with a little teeny candy shell on it. Hmm. No. It's not starburst. It's gum. Yeah, that's gum. Okay. Grape gum. Pure is all it says. And it shows a picture of a green apple. So what's kind of neat about this stuff is it's kind of a grab bag. You don't really know what you're getting into until you get into it. Oh, okay. They're little heart-shaped. Uh... Oh! Ooh! They're uh, sour. Ooh. Ooh. Sour apple gummies. Well, the gummies aren't sour. The gummies are sweet, but there's a powder on it. And woo! That powder is bitter or uh, sour. I, I want a cookie of a sort. Is there like cookies? It's premium, but I don't know what else it is. Okay, this looks like a... This looks like a, like a big cheese log. Like a cheese puff log. Cheese puff log with a hint of fish. Uh, no, I don't like that one. Okay, here's one of those kits that I was talking about. Where they give you all the um, uh, little powders and the little molds and you're to mix everything. And this is the whole little kit that it comes in. So this is going to take a little bit of time. I'm not going to actually do this today. But actually, it's kind of cool that they include one of these kits because it's something for you to do. 
as well as have snacks. You could build this and eat your snacks at the same time while you're doing rippers. Let's see. Okay. I don't know what these are, but the little dude it, on his hat, it says milk. So I'm hoping that these are like desserty, maybe like little cookies or something. They're really airy. They taste like, um, they start off like milk and then they finish like Captain Crunch. Yeah, they have a milky taste and then they finish with a Captain Crunch kind of a taste. Very airy. They just kind of melt in your mouth. Another mystery. What's cool is this dude on there. Look at him. <laughs> oh, and I noticed it looked like a... Oh, I get it. He's a little root beer dude. See, he's like a, a glass of soda or something. Or maybe tea because there's a lemon on there. So, uh, it's like a... Oh, oh, it's like a... It's like a stick. It bends. I think this is gum, but no, no, it's not gum. It's like taffy, but it tastes like furniture polish. I think it's supposed to be lemon iced tea, but it tastes like furniture polish. Oh, okay, let's move on. Um, well, these look like little garlic clove heads on these dudes. So I have no idea. This might be garlicky. These, this little puff, this puff stuff is pretty common, I notice. Soy sauce on that that puff stuff tastes like soy sauce, kind of salty. Oh, premium, but no clue what it is. I'm scared. Last time it was like a fish. Oh, gotta do it. Wow. Lots of flavor on this one. Kick you in the mouth with salt. Whoa! I think there's like a, 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 a white cheddar cheese, maybe? White cheddar cheese stick on that just puffed corn. Okay, this one has... Oh, this has pandas on it. And it's uh, got strawberries and oranges and grapes and bananas on the package. Whoa! And this candy is packaged in cotton. Is it fragile? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was like going to be this crystal made out of sugar, like a, a statuette, and it? it's inside this cotton, and uh, there's nothing else in here. They must have forgot to put it in. No, it is cotton candy. So let's try. I like cotton candy, so let's try this. It's definitely cotton candy. It has, uh, it tastes very sweet, like cotton candy does. It has no discernible flavor whatsoever. It melts much quicker than the cotton candy I'm accustomed to. Like that you get at an amusement park or a fair or something. Uh, yeah, no discernible flavor whatsoever. But it's got pandas. <gasps> Maybe it's panda flavor. Hmm. And last, but certainly not least, this one. The only word in English on this whole package is the word open right there. So let's open. Oh. oh, there's a bunch of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's three yellows. There's six of them in here. Three yellows and three blues. It's a uh, little yellow sticks. Oh, whoa. Whoa.
it's almost reminiscent of like Pop Rocks. Where, you know, it's like that candy with the CO2 in it. But it doesn't... It's kind of... It's like not poppy like Pop Rocks. It's more like fizzy. There's a weird sensation. Yeah, look. See the bubbles on the package right there? It's not as heavy as Pop Rocks was, and the flavor is kind of weird. Yeah, the flavor is a little weird. But yeah, they're like Pop Rocks almost sticks. And that was it for the WOW box from Mog Mog. Japan's best candy subscription. And if you would like to get Wow Box from Mog, all you got to do is go to wowbox.mogmog.us, or you could just click the link that's in the description area, and it'll take you right to the site. And make sure that when you check out, that you use the coupon code that's in the description area. Some weird, weird code thing. I think it was a lot of fun opening the Wow Box by Mogmog. Mog, mog. I had a good time, and I'm going to be eating this stuff for weeks. And I think that's all I got for today. Should we do another ripper? I say yes. Special thanks goes out to the Wow Box for sending me a bunch of stony snacks. Cheers, Mog Mog Ears. <laughs> no, much better. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, and peace the fuck out. Later, y'all. After I finished recording the video, I looked under this little red piece of paper in the box, and I found the explanations of what everything is. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs>